Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the In Group in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for August 4th, 2023. Really cool new arrival video today for a couple of reasons, but also uh, some good pre-orders and some good information for you guys. So uh, I'll start with the pre-orders. Jimmy Smith's Midnight Special and Horace Silver, Blowing the Blues Away. Those are the next two Blue Note Classic Series titles up for pre-order. They both come out September 15th, all analog, cut by Kevin Gray from the original Master Tapes. Uh, the, the Jimmy Smith is a really good title. And Jimmy Smith was one of those artists, because he's an organ player, that was kind of neglected by Music Matters. So it'll be nice to get a really nice copy of that in print. Uh, Analog Productions did it as a 45, but it'll be nice as a 33. And then Blowing the Blues Away. Also, a very hard and expensive record to find, part of the Jazz Dispensary series, uh, Woody Shaw's Blackstone Legacy. That is a contemporary double. That's coming out September 15th as well. All three of those are September 15th. Uh, this Sunday at 2.30, I've got a live stream with Kevin Gray. There's also a big announcement. It is a Kevin Gray live stream, but not your typical, uh, hey, Kevin, tell us about Blue Note. T you know what I mean? It's not going to be the same thing. This is going to be new. New information and an announcement. A new announcement. It's going to be exciting. I'm excited. This is a very exciting announcement. This is big news for the Ingroove in Phoenix, Arizona. So uh, I'm going to share that big news with you on the live stream this Sunday at 2.30 Arizona time. We'll probably do some questions. I'll ask some questions not pertaining to the big news. But uh, yeah, we'll play it by ear. But a chunk of it will be discussing the big news with Kevin Gray at 2.30 on Sunday. I wanted to mention international shipping again. We're going pretty strong with it. It's been really successful. We pretty much now ship to all but about 10 countries around the world. Very affordable. It's DHS, DHL expedited one to three days. Uh, all the customs, everything is paid up front on the website. So you know the total price that you are going to be receiving with this service. It's all of it's handled. Taxes, VAT, any kind of custom fees, everything handled on the store level. Also, you can pay in your currency. Uh, very affordable, especially within the three to four record range. I've got tons of people emailing me and saying, Mike, it is cheaper for me to order these four records. Now, these are typical records that aren't easy to get in Europe, right? So analog productions, mobile fidelity records, impex records, you know, those types of records. Records that are exclusive to the US. A lot of the more mainstream stuff, like if you want the Marvin Gaye, what's going on, the good premium Kevin Gray cut, you got to get it from, the, it's actually made, I believe, in Europe, imported to the U.S., but if you want the Kevin Gray cut, you got to get it from, up, from here. So anything like that, you buy three or four records, I'm shipping things, for instance, a guy emailed me from Germany, he's like, it's cheaper for me to order four records from you than the actual guy who imports them here in town who lives down the street. I mean, it's very aggressive pricing, especially for Europe, Canada, Mexico. I'm sending a lot of stuff to Mexico, starting to send stuff to China, Japan, South Korea. Check it out. It's very affordable and knowing everything up front, really awesome. Okay. This week, the first InGroove exclusive, and it's an exclusive color variant. Canelmas' Folkstone Prism. I did a dedicated video on this. This was technically a record that was, you know, a lot of this I had a hand in making. This was not the case. I told a story about this uh, on a previous video, so I won't go into great detail on it, but this is my favorite record ever to come out of Arizona. The last original copy of this sold on Discogs for $4,850, so very expensive. This is an analog Oh, excuse me, this is not an analog cut. This is a digital cut, I'm assuming, done by uh, Kevin Gray. It sounds fantastic. I have the original and every re I've got every version of this record that ever has come out. It does sound extremely good, but what's cool about this, and I'll show you guys, this is an in-groove color exclusive. There's gonna be 530 of these, possibly. Uh, I explain what happened in shipping. With this, uh, for some reason, I only got 330. So it's either going to be 330 or it's going to be 500. 
Either way, it's not going to last long. I have less than 100 of these available. But this is the exclusive. It is a purple swirl vinyl. It is a uh, color exclusive. The traditional modern harmonic Sunday's version comes out black only. But uh, I think this matches the cover better. Slight difference to the third man press the first one, if I'm not mistaken, that came out in 2020. This is pressed by Citizen Vinyl. So a different pressing plant than the original. But there's only gonna be 500 of them at the most. I got 330 of them. Uh, yeah, and I've got less than 100 left. So I don't know if this record is going to make it through the day. I highly recommend you listen to it. It is a heavy fuzz psych record from 1971. A lot of like backwards tape sounds, heavy fuzz. Side one is all instrumental. Side two has some vocal. It's a great record. I love it. Uh, I've turned a lot of people onto this record. I play it in the store quite a bit, and people always pick up on it. But uh, yeah, that is it. This is a color exclusive. It's the first one of these I've ever done. Uh, you know, a lot of record stores do exclusive, but this is the first one I ever did. It was a lot of work if you've seen my previous video. I don't know if I'm ever going to do it again. Unlike the wild times, which I had a huge hand in doing this. I chose the source that was used to manufacture this, who did the analog mix downs, who did the mastering, how the record was made, how many of the records were made, the jackets. I had a lot of input on the art. This was a record that me and my buddy Johnny D did. There's 2,000 of these, but this is an all analog cut by Bernie Grunman from the original master tape. Stoughton did the jacket. It's numbered in the back. This is number 83. Uh, if you haven't tried this out, this is an awesome record. This is the Wild Times. This actually was uh, Charlie Gearhart, who later went on to form Goose Creek Symphony. This was kind of his psych project that he did late 60s, maybe 68, 69 in that range. 67, 68. But uh, yeah, this was, this was an awesome record. There's two Beatle covers on this as well. But this was a record that was an in-groove exclusive, but this was a record that was put out by me and my buddy, Johnny D. I'm actually listed on the back. I'm the production supervisor. So I do have this left, and I do have, for the time being, Folkstone Prism, which I'm super excited about. Uh, watch the video of me talking about this. You'll There's some cool stories and kind of my history with this record, but less than 100 left. I don't think it's gonna last. It's actually selling really well. I didn't know how it would do but it is selling really well. Okay, Frampton at 50. This is an intervention box set of Winds, excuse me, Wind of Change, Frampton's Camel, and Frampton. They only made 2,500 of these. This is 2180 of them. This was done exceptionally well. Uh, I often talk about intervention, the quality that they put out, and I'll actually, I've got a copy here. This is something I kept for myself. Sounds great. I'll give you a little bit of an unboxing here. Heavy, thick, Stoughton style jackets, beautiful sparse coat on the back. This is 100% analog from the half inch safety copy of the original master tape. So intervention is very forthright on their sourcing. They press everything now at Got A Groove, comes in that MoFi style sleeve, has a, yeah, beautiful, beautiful record. There's the gatefold of Frampton. This is from a half inch safety copy of the UK Production Master. And Winds of Change is from half inch safety copy of the UK Production Master. But really well done. Only 2,500 of them. It would be cool to uh, get something like, you know, Frampton comes alive with this type of quality, but uh, labels are less likely to give those out. But who knows? Comes with a certificate there. Only 2,500 of them. This is really cool. And when I spoke to uh, Shane at Intervention, these are almost sold out. There's not a ton of these things floating around out there. A lot of these are pre-sold. And it's reasonable. It's, what is it, 100 and, let me find the, uh, 160 bucks. Okay, so yeah. Really well done. Numbered on the back, okay. Also numbered, box set, this is Dick P Dick's Picks Volume 1, The Grateful Dead. This is also numbered to 3,000. This is 1,358. 
Lacquers cut by Clint Holly and Dave Pulser at Well Made Music. Includes previously unreleased material, remastered for vinyl from the original tapes for the first time ever. We also have the big audio file arrival of the week, and that is Steely Dan's Pretzel Logic. I actually just got this in yesterday. I am going to take this home and listen to it tonight. I wanted to give it the full, the full, you know, on my system. I wanted to hear it for the first time on my system. Sometimes I'll play something in the store. The store is not the best system in this big showroom to do, you know, critical listening. But with these big dollar releases, I always like to do critical listening. I think I got all the pre-orders of this thing shipped out. But yeah, this is the third in the Steely Dan UHQR series. Pretzel Logic. So, now shipping. Okay, a record that uh, was out of print, but I guess it's not. Or maybe it wasn't. And nobody ever said anything to anybody. It just disappeared from their website, and now it's back. But I'm glad it is back because it is an amazing sounding record. That is Bob Dylan's Greatest Hit by Mobile Fidelity, cut at 45 RPM. They did an amazing job on the Bob Dylan stuff, and having Greatest Hits back in print and blood on the tracks is a no-brainer because I can tell you firsthand that the Sony legacy version of this that is in print, no good. Not remotely comparable to this. So much better. And Miles de Kilimanjaro by uh, Miles Davis. Okay. Also, the two newest tone poets. This is like an audiophile I love this. I remember doing this years ago and it'd be like one record, maybe none. Virtually no audio file stuff was on this uh, new arrival video. Now I got like five or six more to go. This is going to be uh, quite good. I'm going enjoy, to enjoy listening to this. Uh, Duke Pearson's The Right Touch, Blue Note, Tone Poet, All Analog, cut by Kevin Gray with the beautiful jackets. This is the highest presentation you are going to find in a record. And the title that, because it's Lee Morgan, is going to sell better, but... Uh, I think they're both solid this week. This is part of the LT series originally. Infinity. Lee Morgan, Jackie McLean, Billy Higgins. Really looking forward to this. The photograph on this is just unbelievable. Look how, I don't know if you guys can zoom in and look at the quality of that. This is great. Looking forward to these two. All analog cut by Kevin Gray, if you guys aren't familiar with Tone Poets. Okay, so this theoretically should have came out a couple of weeks ago. Uh, this is part of Huge problem. UPS, uh, in conjunction with the label closing down for a couple of weeks because they were retooling their system, you know, on their back end. It was just a weird time. UPS absolutely smashed to bits all the copies of this that I had. Uh, John Coltrane with Eric Dolphy, evenings at the Village Gate. But finally, it's in stock. Got plenty of them. And everybody else is getting shipped out who unfortunately was waiting. I apologize on that. I actually made a video talking about damage and I think uh, that and maybe this one I showed in the video because they were destroyed. Idris Muhammad, Black Rhythm Revolution. This is part of the Jazz Dispensary series. Also all analog, cut from the original master tape by Kevin Gray with this beautiful tip-on jacket. I myself have not had a chance to listen to it because I wanted to make sure everybody got theirs before I had a chance to listen to it. Uh, you know, I didn't want to take a copy home. I could have sent to somebody, but I will take that home tonight as well. Another jazz dispensary title. Two more jazz dispensary titles to show you. We've got uh, Pleasure, Joyous. Great record. This originally was an exclusive to their website, but very smartly they opened it up to put these into full production, you know, distributed everywhere. But great record. I heard it already when it came out. And Azimuth, Telecommunication. Another great record. Glad they did this as a uh, jazz dispensary title. Aerosmith, get a grip. I think this is a color exclusive. I want to say, check the website. This is maybe black and white or some sort of color splatter exclusive. It's got a special barcode, but I forget the color combination. The Holy Mountain. The original soundtrack. We've got Elton John's Wonderful Crazy Night, 2023. I feel like this originally came out maybe as a gatefold. It's 
crazy. This record itself is not that old, but it got a repress. Elton John's The Diving Board. And actually one of my favorite later year Elton John records, that is Made in England. I really dug The One, and I really dug uh, Made in England. His 90s output was, it was like that middle 90s for Elton John, where I think he was putting out some really solid albums. But love Elton. Seen him live at this point more than any other artist. And I took the last five or six years off. But, uh, yeah. Willie Nelson, the 25th anniversary pressing of Teatro. We've got Todd Rundgren, The Individualist, A True Star Live. This is triple vinyl, Coke bottle, green vinyl. I have not had a chance to see him live, but I'll actually, he was here not too long ago and everybody in the store who worked here at the time went, I think, minus me and Angel, and they thought it was amazing. So next time around, I'll give it a try. The Atari, the Atari, Silver Turns to Rust. Produced and mixed, actually here in town by Bob Hogue, at, uh, recorded at Flying Blanket Recordings in Mesa, Arizona. Tracked on a, see Bob is great. Bob comes into the store quite a bit, but he's a really, he's a sound quality fanatic. Tracked on a 1978 Neve 8078 console, using only vintage amps, guitars, and microphones. All songs recorded and mixed to analog tape. <laughs> Very cool. I'm curious how this was cut. I'll have to talk to him next time I see him. All right, Augustus Pablo, Roots, Rockers, and Dub. And this week's King Gizzard, Wizard, Lizard, and the Wizard, Lizard, Wizard, Wizard, Lizard, Music to Kill, Bad People 2, Demos and Rarities, Volume 1. This is from Org Music. This is only limited to 500 copies, so chances are I won't see this one again. Just the other 97 variants of this record that will come out limited to 500 copies, making a total of, you know, Infinite King, Gizzard, Wizard, Lizard records. Pressed on Seafoam colored vinyl. I'll be shocked if there isn't more Wizard Gizzard in here, truth be told. Everything, everywhere, all at once. This is a really weird trippy cover. Spock lost black. Very trippy. I wonder what this is. This looks uh, like something I'm going to listen to. Probably not like, but I'm going to try it. Oh, David Byrne. Oh, we love the talking heads. I'm going to leave this out so I know to listen to it on the way home. You notice how many times in a video I say Kevin Gray, Neil Young, and King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard? It's crazy, isn't it? It's like they really occupy the new arrival. The Dirty Heads, any port in a storm. I think this is good marketing on their point, on their part, having all these records into production because they just get talked about endlessly, at the in-groove anyways. The Dirty Heads, this is the best of. We also have self-titled, The Dirty Heads. We've got The Dirty Heads Swim Team. And a reissue of Cardi B's uh, Invasion of Privacy. I feel like this is some special edition. It's got the uh, Atlantic 75th anniversary. Mighty Baby. High dollar record. Actually, I opened a box uh, collection a while back on the channel and popped one of these out of a box. Took it home. Great record. The Fun Boy 3, Waiting, as our lips are sealed. And then we've also got their, I think, I feel like this would have been their bigger album, right? This has uh, Taint What You Do, It's The Way That You Do It. And God Almighty, now that I just said that, it's going to be stuck in my head. Doing it to you guys. Oh God. I'll try to forget about it. Try. Bruno Mars. 
This is 24 karat magic. This is, you know, Atlantic. Actually, this has got a special barcode on it. Really nice cover. Actually, I don't think the original was like that. It's got that gold foiling. Maybe it was. But uh, they're doing a lot of records for their 75th anniversary. So a lot of their stellar titles they're putting back in print. Oh, this is a great record. Mike here at the InGroove loves all forms of Dark Side of the Moon redos. Tribute albums. The original, of course, is the greatest. Never be beat. But the tribute albums, Dub Side of the Moon, uh, Government Mules, Dark Side of the Mule. Great. I mean, there's I love them all. The new Roger Waters, that seems like nobody likes. But so far, I like it. But that's a great album. Gil Scott Heron and his Immensa Express, legend in his own mind. Limited green translucent 2LP vinyl. Interesting. Live at the Schomburg Theater in Bremen, April 18th, 1983. We've got the Walters Sounds Songs for Dads. I read somewhere that maybe these guys are like YouTube uh, YouTube celebrities. Had a big YouTube hit, maybe. We've got Christian Deaths, uh, The Rage of Angels, Splatter Vinyl, Purple and Black Splatter Vinyl. Man, we're really the '80s are where it's at, man. People are really going crazy with the '80s now. That's like the average person walking in the store; they're buying '80s records. So. Fun Boy 3, General Public. I mean, I see why these records are being put back in a print. They're not easy to find. All the Rage. Their 1984 debut spent 39 weeks at, uh, on the U.S. Billboard 200, featuring the hit single, Tenderness. I mean, look, people say, well, oh, Mike, what are you talking about? I see that record all the time. Well, if you were looking for it, that record would be a lot difficult, more difficult to find than you think. But if you are in record stores enough, you do see these records, but... Having them in print uh, is what people like. They, you know, everybody, this is the satisfaction now error. You know what I mean? I want it now, and I don't want to wait to find it in a couple of weeks. Let's see. Puff, oh, this is Diddy. So I guess this is after Puff Daddy. Is it still Diddy, or is it Puff? Is he back to Puff Daddy? I don't know. But this is when he was Diddy. Press play. 2006, hip, 2006. Hip Hop Classic. The Dropkick Murphys, The Meanest of Times, on clear green vinyl. Great, great, great record. This was done by, is this a Mr. Bongo? Yeah, by Mr. Bongo. Tim Maya, self-titled album. This is on apple red and brown vinyl. Mr. Bongo, man, has been killing it with some of these Brazilian reissues. Very good record. Very high dollar record when you find it. People always ask, come in the store, hey Mike, where's your Brazilian section? You got no Brazilian section. This is Phoenix, Arizona. I don't have a flood of Brazilian records coming in, but it'd be cool. I'd love to have a Brazilian section. Love Sexy uh, Prince. The continuation of the Prince reissue campaign of the whole catalog. A Fairport Convention, Leaf and Page, or Liege and Leaf. Where did I get Leaf and Page? Sometimes the dyslexic uh, in me plays tricks on my mind. Odessa, this is the last goodbye. I got two versions of it. This is on double crystal clear vinyl, and this is on double crystal clear. What? Double crystal clear hundred. Oh, this has a uh, twelve inch art card, and this one does not. So I guess maybe this one's the indie exclusive. Godflesh, Purge, we've got Thrice, Ultra Clear, limited to 6,000 copies. This is the Artist in the Ambulance, Revisited. Let's see, AJR, Neo Theater, AJR, The Click Deluxe. AJR OK Orchestra. We've got Salu Earth. 
We've got the soundtrack to a Wednesday by Danny Elfman. Actually, if I, most of these actually got delayed, so put a restock notification and I'll have more of these uh, back in stock maybe later in the week, early next week. This is, let's see, gatefold with a printed, with printed it that are advertising that? Okay. On the hype sticker, it tells you that it's a gatefold in case you don't go like this. And I guess they're telling you there's printed inner sleeves in there. Okay. We've got, oh, this is the uh, Suzy solo album, right? Manta Ray, this was uh, an import only, I believe. Limited edition red vinyl mastered and cut half speed at Abbey Road Studios in London. Reissue of Flume. I think when I opened up the store, when this record came out, or shortly after I opened up the store, I feel like this was the very first thing a label ever sent me. It was a CD of this album when it came out originally in 2016. I was so excited. I was like, oh man, free stuff. After Shortly after that, they started sending you you know, digital links to download it. Great Expectations, the original soundtrack, double emerald green vinyl, limited to 2,000 copies. And last, we've got Terry Lynn. Let's see, TLC and Friends. Wow, this looks pretty good. What is it? George Coleman, Kenny Barron, Buster Williams. God, this is on Candid. I'm going to give this a listen to. I'm not, a, not an album I'm familiar with. But yeah, that is it. Check out this week's live stream, guys. It's going to be uh, it's going to be exciting. Although now that I'm pumping it up all this amount, maybe it's not that exciting. Maybe everyone's going to be like, oh, man, that's not exciting. But you guys, I don't know. Maybe there's such a thing as too much hype. But I'm going to have fun. All right, guys, check us out on the web at theingroove.com. Until next time.